Hey everyone, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. In this video, we're going to go over our preliminary performance test between Lightroom 5 Beta versus Lightroom 4. Now, there's been a ton of videos already, and we've already posted articles on some of the new features inside of Lightroom. We wanted to get down to the meat of it and see in this video, well, under the hood, is Lightroom 5 or the Lightroom 5 Beta still the same as Lightroom 4? Now, this isn't to say that I'm not excited about new features. There are actually two features in particular that I'm super stoked about. One is the new radial filter, which is going to allow for a lot of new types of creative presets uh, that we're going to include in the Lightroom 5 preset system update. And if you have the Lightroom 4 preset system, by the way, notice that everything does work just fine. Uh, we have, we've already gone through and kind of tested and everything looks good. Um, but that's one thing I'm super excited about is the radial filters. The other thing is the automated lens and basically level adjustments that we can make uh, for perspective distortion, for horizons, and so forth. Those are my kind of two favorite. Actually, this, the spot healing tool is going to be pretty awesome too. So three favorite things that I, I have in Lightroom 5. But again, we already know these features and we want to know really is the Lightroom 5 beta under the hood still the same thing as Lightroom 4. So what we did, we did a little bit of testing, guys. We loaded up a catalog with 50 images. So basically, we have two catalogs, one for Lightroom 4, one for Lightroom 5. I have both of them on my desktop. I'll just show you real quick. Let's see here. It's right here. So we have two different catalogs. Each have their own original files in them. They're all 50 of the same files as well. Okay, So they're identical images. And we start out with one-to-one -one preview rendering. We set all of our preference up identically in both Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5, and we went through and rendered all one-to-one -one previews. After rendering in Lightroom 4, we cleared out the preview cache, and then we rendered in Lightroom 5, and we only noticed about a 1% difference in overall rendering time. Now, this is pretty much negligible. You can pretty much say they're identical when it comes to rendering one-to-one -one previews. We moved on, we took the same 50 images, we applied the exact same preset in both Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5, and we rendered them out to 650 pixel web-sized images with stamps. Now, for some reason, we actually ran this test twice because Lightroom 4 was around 18% quicker than Lightroom 5. We're not sure why yet, but it was quicker on the exporting side. Moving to image to image lag. Uh, image to image lag, basically what we did was we jumped in the develop module and we basically cycle from image to image measuring the loading time between each image. And notice that we have already rendered one-to-one -one previews in both catalogs when we did this testing. So we have kind of an interesting result to report here. Now Lightroom 4 was very much consistent from all 50 images. So basically moving from one image to the next, Lightroom 4 was taking an average of 1.5 seconds per image. Lightroom 5, while the average is still the same across the 50 images, actually did something very interesting and hopefully very positive. But what it was doing was it took a longer period of time during the first 10 to 15 images. So as we were cycling through the first 10 to 15 images, it was taking around 2 to 2.5 seconds to move from image to image. When we hit around that 15th image mark all the way through to 50, we noticed something very interesting. We saw on our uh, performance tools that Lightroom 4 was at, or Lightroom 5 beta was actually using more system resources. We heard the CPU fan in our machine spin up because of it was using the CPU heavier, so we have increased core temperatures. And then the image to image rendering speed dropped to around 1 to 1.2 seconds per image. It was that way through the entire remaining 50 images. Now, of course, because the first 15 had, you know, 2 to 2.5 seconds, the average ended up being actually almost identical between Lightroom 5 and Lightroom 4. But what was great was that Lightroom 5 seemed to actually be utilizing more system resources as it saw us using basically this bigger draw as we we're going through the develop process. Hopefully what this means is that Lightroom 5 has been better optimized to utilize system resources. Of course, right now this is still too early to tell, but hopefully these performance tests were interesting to you guys and hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll have more for you later on as we go and we get closer to the actual Lightroom 5 release. Until then, we'll see you all in the next video.